Hello and welcome back to the farm. We're just round here with what is now or was the old grain dryer. Um, we've basically just scrapped that. We've taken it to bits just after dinner time today. And it was pretty much on its last legs anyway. So we've basically just taken it apart and with a JCB and forks and that put it into a scrap lorry. And they've taken it off and we'll get paid for that. But we've got these few other bits and pieces here. When we get this new building, we're going to put up a probably a grain dry, a new grain dryer. Um, we'll still want the gas tanks and stuff for it. So we'll have to get someone in to dismantle it all from here and move it across. I've got a few bits and pieces going on here today so they've started doing a little bit here they're starting to bring in some stone uh, and walk all over that there's a they had a fire there and that was from all the wood that came out of the building the building wasn't listed so it got knocked down and they brought in a crusher and that is what is left of that building after they've crushed it and they put it all the bits and blocks in there with the um, telehandler and that is what is left of that building which they'll use in the um, groundwork for this new building and they've got to bring in some more stone to put in this dip that's in here so I think they're having their dinner at the moment or something so that's where they're at with that we've got something to go and collect today and something to get else to get rid of JCB here are here at the moment because they've come to service the Agri Pro and they're giving it a bit of a sort out and service and apparently they're upgrading the uh, computer chip that's in it or something so they said it might sound a bit different and also they've added which this didn't have which should have had um, reversing a reversing beeper so they're just sorting that out but there's a lorry coming shortly for the Claydon because that is going they have asked for it back so we've had our use out of that so we're going to be left without a drill so we're going to have to sort ourselves out another drill So we need to leave them to finish doing what they're doing with that JCB and then we can get that out. And we've also got to go down the shop today and pick up something that I've bought. Which we will need the trailer for. So we'll just go and put that trailer on. So we'll just leave this here ready to go to the shop. and wait for this lot to finish so we can get this um, drill out so I spent most of last night looking at farm buildings and I've ordered one from a company that they're making up and it's on their way 
it's on its way, bought, uh, bought the building. So, hopefully the other lot can put that up. When that arrives, we've got a, the lorries here now for this drill. So they jump on the 6930 I think, because that might manoeuvre it a bit better. So we'll just go and get attached to that and get it on that lorry. Well that didn't go quite to plan. There are quite a few issues getting that on there. We've had to get the JCB out and hold the traffic up because it nearly fell off the trailer. Um, we couldn't get it to go back anymore because a bit of the ramp on the lorry so it has to stick out. We have to take the front joint off to close the doors, the ramps and we've just bolted that back up and he's just going to strap that up and go uh, what a mission so we'll just get everything put away and get cleared out of here leave that in there we'll just go and put the muck grab on with this because we'll muck the animals out Come around and do the cows first in a minute. Better just get that uh, John Deere moved out of the way. So that's the animals cleaned out. So, we can go and get in the truck now and go and pick up our new item. I'll just give the shop a quick ring to say we're on the way. Yep, so they've just said uh, it's ready to, uh, for us to go and pick up. But, uh, and we told them that our the cladin drill was gone and they said there's something down here that might interest us and they'll get it out and put it out the front they said they've got quite a big set up thing there at the moment and they're going to get us to have a look at it so we'll get down the shop now I forgot to mention where the compost went and we had a word with them down here and they actually let us put it down here so it's in a pile at the moment just there and uh, we've told them that we'll try and get it spread on the fields later when they're harvested 
So that's just been put in a big pile there, and they brought their telehandler down and just pushed it all up. So they were alright with that being there. So we'll just get off to the shop now and see you down there. So we just pulled in the shop. Get this turned around. So we have come to pick up what we've bought, which we didn't have last year. That's cost us five thousand pounds. Is a brand new John Deere ride on mower. So we can actually mow the garden. when the grass is up so that's what we've come to pick up so I can't see nothing else out here to do with drilling apart from this which is a bit of a setup. It's obviously a used machine that they've got in. Which is a class with a got a box for tools and stuff on there. And seed tank and power hammer and drill. So we'll go in and see what they have to say about that and just sort out the paperwork for our new machine. Yep, so they've said they want £50,000 of that. It's not got any problems, it's all in working order. Um, it was a customer that has upgraded to something else. And there's no problems with it at all, it's ready to go. And yeah, they want £50,000 for it, so... I said we need to think about that. I'm not... The other drills ain't just gone, I wasn't exactly expecting it to go. So... Yeah, we'll have to have a think about whether we would get something like this or not. But we need something quite big or going to need something quite big if we carry on with our stuff or expand and if we have to drill the share farming fields next year as well so we're going to need something fairly big so but we'll have a think about that so we'll get this what we have actually come here to get um, a bought loaded up and get that back to the house so we'll see you back at the house with our new mower So we did have something else done around the back which I kept a bit of a secret and that was we had someone in and put up a new garden shed, one that was big enough to hold this anyway. Which we'll put it in now because we've got no grass to mow now, not until the spring. So that's that. The lawn mower can live in there now.
So I got I did get a phone call on the way up here about the farm building. The farm building company gave us a ring and said that it, all the stuff is actually there. They've got to make up a few bits, but it won't take long, and it should be with us in about three days. So we'll go and let that lot over there now in a minute when we get back to the farm. So we drop the trailer off. I'll just let them know that the farm building's on the way. And they said that they'll arrange a crane and get their other bits in they need to do buildings. They said they'll actually get up here today. Which has got to come from another site or something that it's waiting to actually be moved from. So. So I'm just going to do a few bits here. So basically for this week's vlog, that is going to be pretty much it. I think this lot's lorry went off. Uh, I think I've got another trailer. And they bought this high lift machine to get to bits of buildings rafters and stuff when they're putting buildings up and they brought their big machine for putting up buildings he said it's up there at the moment we're just having a play around with it make sure it's all working properly so hopefully by the time we do our vlog next week there's going to be a brand new building here and all the works will be completed should be about a w less than a week before that's all done so thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time cheers <laughs>